Hello, my name is Bhavya Reddy with the Abaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video demonstrates how to perform call routing test in Session Manager, which is basically used to test routing of a SIP invite based on the routing algorithms defined in Session Manager. To execute call routing test in Session Manager, log in to System Manager and navigate to Session Manager, System Tools, Call Routing Test. Call routing tests are basically used to test routing of a SIP invite based on the current Session Manager administration. You can use it to verify that you have administered the Session Manager as intended before placing it into service or to get feedback on why a certain type of call is not being routed as expected. The testing of this routing does not use any real SIP messages. It basically invokes the call processing in the debug mode to test routing. To execute the call routing test, we need to first enter the SIP invite parameters. The call party URI is the SIP URI of the call party. You must specify a handle and a domain here. The calling party URI is the SIP URI of the calling party. Again, you will specify a handle and a domain here. Calling party address is the IP address or the host name from which the invite is received. For routing, this will be the IP address of a SIP entity. You can enter any IP address that you require, but make sure that it is recognized by the session manager as a trusted host. The listen port is the port on which the called session manager instance receives the invite. Day of the week and time is used for the time of the day routing. Transport protocol is the protocol used for transportation of the call. The called session manager instance is the session manager instance that receives the invite sent for testing routing. Click on execute test to execute the call routing test. The routing decisions box displays the result of the routing test. This result displays one line per destination choice. Each line displays not only where the invite would be routed, but also what the adapted digits and domain would be. The routing decision process box contains details about how Session Manager made these routing decisions. It first determines if this call is to an emergency number. Then it applies the network routing policy data that is administered under routing in Session Manager such as dial patterns and regular expressions to determine the routing process. It then checks to see if the caller is a known user. If yes, then it starts the origination processing where it checks if there is any application sequence that applies to the calling party. If yes, then the invite is sent via these applications to the called party. The called user is then checked to see if he is a known user. If yes, then it starts the termination processing of the call where again we check to see if there is any application sequence defined. If yes, then the invite is sent to these applications before the call terminates to the called party. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.